What is up guys, this is me, Johnny Cooper 64 here with another YouTube video, and today we have the Crash Bandicoot Funko Pop. Now this one's a different Funko Pop from the other one, uh, this one, because this one's actually like a spinning, uh, the one where Crash does a spinning animation, which is actually pretty cool because of how, um, he actually got it accurately. There's like four legs and stuff like that. Thought it was just gonna be like two legs or something because, you know, most of them try to like be realistic, I think. I don't know. And the other Crash Bandicoot. Uh, and then there's the f top and bottom. And yeah, let's unbox this baby. So we're here, we have the Funko Pop itself. Now, this is actually pretty cool uh, outside the box because you can actually see more of it in detail. We have the four legs, which is cool because that's what uh, <laughs> that's what it shows when he's doing the animation. Um, I think he also has like uh, four arms when he's doing the spin, spin animation, but I think that will look very weird, I guess, um, with the arms, despite it being in the legs. But I guess it's because it's in the tornado uh, spinning thing. Um, and we can see like the bluish slash orangey thing when he goes like on top of his body and through his legs and the little clouds dust thing it makes once he spins um, over here let me try to like there you go uh, there's like a paint job error I guess um, the paint job from what I'm looking at this Funko Pop is very poor um, I don't think you guys can see it quite because of my shitty camera quality. I need to get a new phone. All right. The you can you guys can see like the black lines from his mouth. Um, the mouth inside, like the red part, is actually very shitty, um, very crappy. Uh, his tongue, like it's not red enough, like this one right here. Compared the tongue to this one. This one actually has better paint job quality, and the mouth as well, like it's fully painted red. Well this one's like, it looks like they ran out of fucking uh, paint to like paint the, the character. Uh, the skin, and this one's like the, the card version by the way, so it's like barely came out as well. Um, yeah, basically it all, it looks the same to be quite honest, like the face. It looks like they just swapped like the tongues. Like this one's on the left, or oh, this one's on the right. And the eyebrows, I guess. And this one's the old ass one, the 2017 Funko Pop. And you guys can see like how it changed so, compared to this one. Let's look at the back. Um, yeah, like actually now that I'm looking at this, what's with this Funko Pop? Like is it every Funko Pop that has this? Cause like, the diamond in the back, this one's like very, like it blends a bit more, you know, with the Funko Pop, but it's so weird, you know, cause this one like released one month uh, before this one. So I don't know what the new direction to this is. Um, but yeah, I mean, besides that, it's like the same, I guess. Yeah, I, I think this one, despite it having paint job issues, this one's actually one of my favorite ones because it's actually like doing a pose and it's one of Crash's signature uh, movements. So, you know, it defines what Crash is. So this is one of the reasons why uh, this one's one of my favorite ones. So if you're a Crash fan, this one is a must buy. But uh, for those who do have this one uh, and are watching my video, Make sure to comment and see if like this is the like the problem. Like, does everyone have this back problem, uh, or is it just me? I guess. I guess I got like the um, shittier quality Crash Bandicoot Funko Pop of this. But just let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.